Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching my new video. I always say like welcome back, but sometimes I feel like, oh, there might be like new people watching my channel and they're like, welcome back. What is she saying? So I never introduce myself to new subscribers. So rude. A lot of people think my name is Dylan, which I completely understand. I listen to Dylan as well, but my name is Dylan. The lum. Anyways, you are very welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm showing you this really easy quarantine five minute glam. Literally takes me five minutes, super easy, not caked on. And I don't know, I just feel like I look a little bit more with instead of without. If you want to know which products I use for this really natural, luscious, dewy kind of makeup, then keep on watching. Okay, before we start, first of all, my hair looks ridiculous. Ridiculous. Look at that hair color. It's so like dirty yellow orange. I use silver shampoo shampoo and it doesn't really help. So we're just going to ignore my hair. This is by the way my natural hair color. It's so dark. Like, do you guys think it would suit me? I feel like I look so harsh, like a not so much like a very friendly person when I have dark hair. Imagine this with makeup on. I don't know. Sometimes I do think about it just because I do think my hair would be like so much more healthy, maybe a little bit more classy looking, but then I'm like, you know. This is kind of like my no makeup makeup look because it looks really natural. It's like, takes like five minutes. I don't know if you guys have the same, but when I look tired and when I'm like in my joggings all the time, like I still don't wear jeans. When I just look tired, I also feel tired. I'm going to touch my face and I'm going to be not so productive and literally like sit on the couch all day. Sometimes I don't even get the smallest things done. It's not that makeup is going to do wonders for you, but at the same time it does because I do feel, I don't know, like a little bit more energetic when I have makeup on. So I am going to put on this primer from Laura Mercier. This is the Pure Canvas Hydrating Primer. Such a good primer for dry skin, oily skin, whatever skin type you have, because this is going to give that plum hydration oh this one hurts so bad like that we're going to keep the base super simple because i don't want to have that full coverage effect on my face i'm going to use this ten couture balm from Givenchy. Uh, it's a blurring foundation balm with spf 15 and i love this one because it's definitely blurring gives the illusion of like smaller pores so i'm just going to use a little bit in the center of my face and then just apply this with my fingers like, I don't think about it too much. When I don't use this, I like to use the Tinted Moisturizer from Laura Mercier. This one, this is a BB gel from Clinique, but for some reason, this doesn't go with a lot of moisturizers that I use, primers that I use, or, you know, nothing on my face. It kind of like comes off when I touch my face, you know, as if it's like dead skin. So I still haven't figured out how to like really work with that, but that gives a really nice matte effect. So if you're not into the dewy look, uh you might really like that one okay so after that i take a very natural concealer from laura mercier this is the flawless fusion ultra longwear concealer in a 3n and this is a very nice airy concealer um light to medium coverage i do think it will look a little weird if you would go in with a very high covering found um concealer because the contrast between the um, coverage of the foundation and the concealer would look a little funny, a little weird, I think. I'm using this brush from Zoeva, which is currently my favorite concealer brush. I still have to wash all my brushes. I also want to give you this, like if you are kind of like in quarantine and if you are not so productive, then don't feel like guilty or a lot of pressure. So keep in mind that people only like highlight some moments in their life. You know, like sometimes we don't share when we feel like share. I think if you're in a good mental place or if you are trying to be in a good mental place, that is the most productive that you can be. And that is the most important thing than cleaning your closet or your kitchen or whatever, you know? So this is the base, super simple, but as you guys know, I love to be a little brighter under my eyes. So that's why I use a tiny bit of this Fenty concealer. This is in 200. And now with my Lash Delicious brush in F202, this brush. I am touching the Huda Beauty Tantor um, cream bronzer, contour cream, and I'm just slightly going to not really contour my face, but if I don't do this, I feel like my face looks really flat, if that makes sense. So just to create like very, very subtle, very lightly. 
sides of my forehead, above my eyes. When I'm going for a full glam look, I like to be a little bit more matte because I want my glam to be like super long lasting. But if I'm going for a very natural looking look, I like a dewy finish. So I'm going to use this beautiful liquid highlighter from Becca. I can't seem to pronounce it because I don't know how to pronounce ign ignite, 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 I don't know. It's a liquefied light highlighter in the shade Creativity and it's a very liquidy, very soft texture highlight it's beautiful so i'm just going to apply this on my cheekbones a little bit on my nose above my brows a tiny bit on my chin so i'm just using the same brush because you know this is a five minute glam and i don't think about it like too much like that for blush i'm using this pixie on the glow blush in juicy this is a very natural looking color it's a little bit more on the reddish side like red orange um, but this is literally how my cheeks would look if I would go for a run so this gives a very nice healthy glow as well you guys probably know what I'm going to use for my brows the only thing I use is it's got to be glued waterproof styling gel I did a whole video on this because this gives the most beautiful brow elimination effect and since I use this I do feel like sometimes I can use like still use a brow pencil especially on the sides of my brow but when I'm going for the everyday five minute glam look I just um, skip that part and use this on its own I will link the video that I did on this in the description box and I'm just going to brush my hairs upward so usually I just leave it like this, but I recently found this one again in my stash. This is the MAC Brow Tint, and as you can see, I don't use the powder side because the cap is already gone. Um, and I didn't like that side, so I'm just going to use this side. It's like a pen, and this is in the shade Spiked. I'm just going to try to see if this still works. So this is the reason why I actually don't do this in five minutes because it always takes longer. So now I have to go in with concealer, but just ignore this part because usually I don't do this. So this is different for everyone. Um, I personally don't like the mascara only look on my eyes. It makes my eye look small and I don't know, I don't like it on me. So what I do is I use a little bit of this full color stylo pencil from Nabla and this is in shade Cupid's Arrow, which is a really nice brown color and i just use it right there and then blend it a little bit with my fingers then i take a random color like a bronzer or like a transition color that you love to use and i just put that a little bit on my eyes like you don't have to do this when you have a crease but when you have like hooded eyes like me um i don't know it's just a thing i like to do i feel like if i don't do this my brows and my eyes look a mile away from each other so for lip liner i'm going to use steve lauren steve lauren lip liner and then just blend it with my fingers usually i use like a nude lipstick but not too nude so i'm not using a lot this is the artist couture saucy gal lipstick just a little bit their new nude lipsticks are gorgeous, by the way, like every single color. So just like that. And then to hydrate my lips, I'm going to use a little bit of this NARS Orgasm Gloss. When I still have time, or I actually have all the time in the world, but when I do want to, you know, add some additional steps, I like to take this um, Nabla Velvet Line Pencil, but you can use any black pencil you like. And then I like to tight line my eyes, especially at the front. Another thing that you can do to really look awake and healthy and glowing and luscious is highlighting your inner corners. I love this shade for highlighting my inner corners, which is actually a little bit more on the silver side, but this one is actually a really nice color to highlight. Um, your inner corners. This is, by the way, from the Cutie Collection from Nabla. And this is the Platinum palette. So just a little bit like that. And then I take my powder again, the Fit Me powder, just a little bit. I'm literally almost wiping everything away. I'm just going to powder under my eyes because we don't want to crease. And then around my mouth as well. So there you go. This is my super easy, quick, 
quarantine five minute glam look obviously i when i do this i don't film and i don't talk so i can do this pretty quick but this just makes me feel a little less tired and i don't know for some reason like i'm always a little bit more productive when i look and feel a little bit more like i don't know like hmm. obviously this is like with studio lights but when i like get in front of my window with a mirror my skin looks absolutely amazing because we didn't use any powder only in the center of our face so it really looks like skin and i don't know i think it's it's a beautiful base i know a lot of people will add mascara as well which is completely fine um i just don't like the look on me but that's you know personal other than that let me know if you guys wear makeup do you wear like a five minute glam do you go like full glam um do you wear nothing let me know hope you guys enjoyed this mini quick tutorial if you did you know what to do hit that notification bell you can follow me on instagram as well see you guys in the comment section and in my next video bye